Well, hello, hello. This is Alpha Pickle back with another episode on the Ign Enigmatica pack. I think I'm getting close to it, guys. Um, we're not going to go over there. I know there's a big building here. We are going to move on to a new mod today. And the mod I think is going to be best for us right now is Extra Utility. So I went ahead and did the first one, which you just click on it, to start the quest line. And one of the first quests we're going to do is nine solar panels here. And I believe I already got the stuff together to make them. I figured uh, Extra Utilities was probably one of the best to start with because it doesn't require a ton of anything, like resource-wise. But also, it has a mode of flight, if you didn't know, the angel ring, which is super, super good and super powerful. So, figured it's a good as any place to start. Now we should be able to do uh, the resonator one, which is the one I really wanted. So let's go ahead and get that one. I don't know if I got everything to make it, but I should have a decent amount. Go see. Um, missing that. Which we got some of those. I believe these are just from mining redstone. There's a chance you get them. Not a hundred percent sure. I think that's where I got them. Yeah, when you break redstone, you got um. About a 2% chance it looks like with fortune 3 to get those so I've been keeping them I don't know if you need a ton for this mod but you do need a few to get started at least so the resonator is a very slow machine in this start so if you didn't know extra utilities uses something called grid power as you'll see down there grid power it says 0 out of 9 so we have 9 power 9 grid power right now because of these we have 9 of them each of them generate 1 grid power does not have to be hooked up by wire or anything so that's pretty cool it's basically just in the air so to say so like if I have those anywhere in the world I have that nine grid power as long as nothing's obstructing it so like when it's nighttime obviously the solar panels won't be working so this thing is working now this resonator let's see what our next quest is hopefully it'll tell us to use this thing um it says I have this one done doesn't it yes kinda do we have a lava mill? I know we have some kind of mill somewhere. Let's just make one. A lava mill. So we need stone burnt, which I believe is polished stone in here. I got two polished stones. So if we put that in there, it's going to use the grid power. And the more you have, I think the faster it goes, but it's not too bad. We do need to make more polished stone real quick. So I think I have enough for a little bit. You just take smooth stone, turn it into stone bricks, and you just take that stone brick, turn it into polished stone. We're gonna go ahead and throw all that in. So while that's cooking, let's see what else we need. I don't want to do the cursed earth yet. Um, we can do the screen. I won't be using it, but we need to make it at least. We're gonna need ender shards, which we will need the glass cutter. So let's grab uh, some ender pearls. I know my inventory is a mess. I apologize, guys. I still haven't done anything with it. I think it took a stick, then like that. No? Okay. Obviously, I don't know. We are trying to make a screen. So, ender shards, we need glass cutter. Okay, so I was close. Stick and one, two, three iron. That'll give us eight of these shards, which we'll just keep for now. We don't have to do it again, do we? No. And then. We just need some stone burnt, which we're working on, and then the resonating redstone crystals. Which I think we got enough of this for a screen, at least. I need to just start typing it in here, because I'm doing that and placing a torch. So we made a screen. Like I said, I probably won't use that. Um, I don't see the point in it. But we needed to do it so we could unlock the next quest here. So angel block is something we definitely want. It's a pretty awesome item. And we want to get to the angel ring, like I said, so we can fly. The so angel block just takes two feathers. I doubt I have obsidian and gold. So let me go get two feathers real quick, guys. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought to find the freaking chicken. I actually didn't technically find a chicken. I found a hen and a peacock. So there we go, we got ourselves an angel block. If you haven't seen one of these, these things are absolutely amazing, and I forget about them all the time. They're so useful for building in like the nether, because you can place them anywhere, in the middle of the air. That's the beauty in them. 
I thought you could one hit with your hand to pick them back up, but maybe not. It's been a while since I actually used one. But yeah, you can build in the air. So like if I want to build 100 blocks up, I can just fly up, place this, and start my build that way. Instead of having to pillar all the way up. So very useful utility block to have. Definitely a great addition in the mod pack. In the extra utilities mod. So let's see what they want us to do uh, next in this quest line. Got that one done. Um, we're gonna need golden lasso probably soon. We probably should have made that already, honestly. But let's go ahead and get us one. Probably want a couple actually. See what they take? Just string. It takes eight at P too. We're a super high level, but it's gonna waste our waste our levels. But that's okay. Do we have any string? Actually, I know I have string. Because I put all the mob drops in here. So let's go ahead and get that much. And we just need some gold nuggets. There we go. Got the gold nuggets. And voila. What is it? Yeah, it does take a full A levels. That's gross. Yeah. I went ahead and made four though. And of course my inventory is a wreck. So I can't put them in there. We will put them in our expanded inventory. So, Golden Lasso, if you didn't know, you can pick up mobs with it. So, if there's a cow or a sheep or something we want, we can just pick them up and bring them back that way. So, it's a lot easier. But I do not see any around, so I cannot demonstrate right now. What is the next quest? Finish that one. Now, it's wanting the Cursed Lasso, which is made with a drop of evil, which we do not have. I'll probably go get some of those in between episodes because there's a couple quests that we need that for. The drop of evil is just a drop from Wither Skeletons. It says it's a rare drop, but I feel like it's pretty common. Like, it's not super common, but it's common enough. It's not anything like uh, the skulls, the Wither Skeleton skulls. Let's go ahead and make some machine blocks. Let's see if I got everything for those. In a block. This one. I think we got everything on us, do we? Did I put the iron up? I did. So let's get iron back out, which is right there. Machine block. And I'm going to go ahead and make a decent amount just so I have them. I'm sure I'll use them eventually, so it's fine. All wheel. Another quest complete. The crusher. Simper, simple powered crusher. I assume this doubles your ores. I've never actually used the crusher. We need two pistons. I got redstone. I need some cobblestone and some wood planks. Where was it at? Crusher. That one. So we need two pistons. Do we have everything else? Yes, we do. So like I said, I'm not 100% sure how this machine works. I haven't used it. I assume it doubles your ores, so let's see if I got any ores I can grab and test this out with. Let's do just a good old osmium. We're gonna double that. Oh, it needs RF. The doy. So this one needs actual RF, which we do not have any generators for yet. So that is okay though. What's next? We got pressure. Survivalist generator or furnace? Um, let's get the generator because we need one of those. It looks like five cobblestone and a furnace. I'm just gonna steal that one. I think I have everything. Five cobblestone. That man. Okay, I remember now. Do redstone. There we go. Survivalist generator, which, as you can probably guess, it's a generator and it's survival generator. So, like, it's the, basically the worst generator you can use. You can put anything you can put in pretty much a furnace, wood, coal, stuff like that. It's going to generate power for like our machines. So, this one's getting power now, as you can see. And coal is the best one to use for that, obviously. But this is a pretty low tier generator, so you probably don't want to use it a ton anyways. But we technically have power, so that's cool. Let's see what's next on the power list. Um, furnace generator, I think it's pretty much the same. So, it takes machine block. It's pretty much the same recipe to do one of these. So, let me look at that one more time. Pay more attention. Okay. 
So five iron ingots. Put our coal our furnace in there, that, and then two redstone. Furnace generator. There we go. So put some coal in there, that's gonna give us power. Again, it's going straight into this machine right now, so We can get the culinary generator. We got ender generator heated. There's a ton of different generators and extra utilities mod pack it has quite the diversity. So you can generate power from this one, the culinary, which is food, if you didn't know. Um, I actually like to use this one. I actually put a tutorial up to it. Not many people saw it, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's using this and the farmer from, uh, I'm trying to think what mod pack. Really, it's a really easy machine to make the farmer block and you can basically make uh completely self-efficient power generator off of these pretty easily early game so they're, they're pretty useful for sure let's see if there's anything cool we want to make on camera before we uh cut so we got a dragon egg mill i doubt we're gonna be able to make that yeah <laughs> we gotta make that to finish the hg utilities quest line wow that means we have to kill the wither at least twice interesting so I guess uh, we're going to have to probably do that next episode. A rare urn? I don't know what this is about. I was just trying to see if there's a way to get another star. <laughs> and we're going to have to kill two withers, guys. Yikes. It's okay. That's a pork chop. Yeah, we still got a mess going on here. Like I said, I know I said I was going to move my inventory, and I have started to. That's what that building is. I'm, I'm working on something pretty, pretty cool in there. I'm hoping to show it off end up this episode or next episode so It'll probably be next episode because it's still having some issues so to say but we could technically use this to double our ores if we wanted to but we're not going to just fyi basically our goal right now is going to be getting the angel ring i think so get the angel ring we got to get the cursed lasso so i think i am going to go ahead and cut it here and go get some drops of evil from the nether and see how far we can get down this line and see if we can't get to the angel ring maybe even this episode so i will be right back so i'm still in the nether i got the drop of evil and i made us our cursed lasso just like that and with the cursed lasso you got to basically catch hostile mobs with it but they have to be lower than two hp so right now i'm trying to get this gas because we will need to catch a gas for our angel ring and how i've been kind of traversing the nether is i got that ring from earlier that gives me slow fall if i fall more than four blocks or whatever so that's kind of the cheaty way i've been doing it is a uh, i jump off i just gotta be careful because it only lasts for about 20 seconds where'd this guy go he didn't despawn did he what that's where'd he go that's a wisp i don't even hear him i think he must have despawned that's sad. Well, also I'm out of food, if you can tell. I mean, mushroom soup. But, the way I've been traveling is just mainly this ender, ender pearl we have for indefinitely, which is awesome that we got from the beginning still. Super awesome item. And, uh, yeah, I've been using that slow fall trick to get certain places, so I just jump off something, get the slow fall flicked, and kind of fly. And then ender pearl where I need to go. But, I'm gonna keep looking for gas, so... Okay, so we're back. I'm actually near our portal. I was kind of headed back, but there's a gas right up here I just saw. So we're going to go try to capture him. The hardest part with this close quarters is going to be we can't be hit as a gas fireball. Gas is in there. So I'm try to do this smart so we don't lose him. I think we can get him now. Yep, we got him. Look at that. Gassed. Health 4 out of 10. Awesome. So now we're gonna head back to the overworld. Well, that's strange. I've used this portal like 10 times before and now all of a sudden it spawned us right here instead of at our house, so that's kind of weird. Open highways are calling our name, and now it's time for 
us to escape Feel the wind touch our faces Okay guys, so I think we have everything together to go ahead and get our angel ring or not. So uh, first we gotta make this one, the chicken wing ring. Add everything to that one. And then it's the squid, ring of the flying squid. <clears throat> Which we should have everything for that one. So I thought, there it is. And then, last but not least, we need our cursed one. Where did I put that? I put it in here. There it is. So, last but not least, the angel ring. The bat. Look at that. It uses 32 GP, which is grid power, which we do not have. So, we aren't going to be able to use it. But, you know how we're going to get that? Is from one of the quests, I think it was, we got these fire mills. So, we're going to go ahead and pick on all 10 of these fire mills that should give us more than enough gp since we're not using it for anything else question is do we have a flint and steel or not i do not see one so let's just make a new one that way we can get this going we're gonna have flight that's gonna make building and everything over here a lot easier i honestly didn't think we were getting flight anytime soon i just wanted to start the extra utilities i kind of forgot about the ring but as soon as I started it and started recording this episode, I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> that ring's fairly easy to get early game. It's probably the best early game flying that I know of anyways. But let's just throw our things right here. I know it's not pretty. We don't care right now. Get it. 10 netherrack down. And go ahead and light them all on fire. I guess it's going to make... Placing these kind of difficult. Like that. Look at us, we're already up to 49 grid power, it looks like. And we can fly. Using the ring. Grid power 32 out of 49 is what we're using right now. And everything is on fire. Whoops. Um, I wonder if I just put some dirt. <laughs> It's gonna be ugly, but that's fine. Alright, either way, we can fly now, so that's awesome. I'm super excited about that. Let's go uh, look at our area a little bit. Don't look in there. Don't look at It's cheating. <laughs> this is where our little wood house we started is gonna be, and then down there is where I'm working on something, as you've seen quite a bit already, but that's okay. We're gonna have paths probably connecting down to the village. That's the plan anyways. Flight is gonna make our lives a lot easier. Net stuff. As soon as we finish this quest line, I think the nets one we're gonna do. Honestly, I think we're gonna go straight to like applied energistics. If I think it's in this pack. Let's actually check real quick. Um Maybe it oh there it is. Yeah, nets after this, we're gonna go into this one. This one's pretty complicated and I don't know a ton about that mod. But we need some AE storage, big time. It's asking us to make these for GP generation, so like the lava mill, it still wants us to make. Any other thing will complete this quest? It says that, but did we complete it or no? I guess we did. And it looks weird because it acts like we haven't. A weird one. Anyways, so next step would be a dragon egg mill, which we can't get yet. Um, this stuff could be pretty useful. I think we should do the dark glass next. Doesn't let any light through, yeah. Let's try to make some of that, see if we have the stuff for it. Because I'm thinking we'll make us a little basic mob farm with extra utilities, considering we have all the stuff for it. Because extra utilities adds that drop of evil so you can get the dirt that spawns mobs on it. And then it also adds a couple different dark glasses which are pretty useful. So it seems only fitting that we make one. How do we make this again? <laughs> like, oh, it has to use thickened glass. Alright, well, we're not doing that right this second then. 
Well, everybody, I think that is going to be it for today. We got our armor pretty good. Still got two modifiers on each, except for that one, basically, because we leveled them all up once, which is pretty cool. Got redstone on them, so we're a bit quicker. And, uh, yeah, we got pretty set up in extra utility, so to say. We did get flight, so I'm pretty excited about that. Surprised we got it in one episode, so I think we did pretty well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. We'll be back to work on that probably, and uh, possibly a couple other cool things. So, tune in next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you. Well, I'm not going to tell you to subscribe, but what I do recommend is you try something new. Whether that be subscribe to this channel, watch another video, leave a comment, like, you choose. Peace.